Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Julius and uh, this channel is all about stuff I find interesting. Preparing for an upcoming trip to Algonquin and I bought some stuff to waterproof my tent. I've owned my tent for quite a few years now and I've never actually waterproofed it. So I figured uh, I'd take this opportunity to do so. Um, it's pretty windy today so I picked an area in my yard that is sort of secluded from the wind. The pool is sort of blocking it just so that when you're spraying it, it doesn't, uh, you know, goes on the tent instead of blowing off. Uh, for those who actually watch my channel, you can see my kayaks are in a different spot. I had them mounted on the back of my pool on the deck, but whenever I built this, um, this woodshed, it was sort of, the kayaks were sort of in the way, so I ended up just putting them on the back of my uh, shed. So I'm gonna get my tent set up and just uh, run you through how to waterproof it. It's pretty simple. Um, here's the stuff here, Nick's Wax Tent and Gear Solar Proof. Seems to be pretty easy to use. Um, just basically make sure you wash your, your tent or your gear first. Um, it's been, a, I think, almost two years since I've taken this out of, uh, out of the bag. And uh, I was gonna wash it, but it doesn't need to be washed. To be honest, I don't even really think it needs to be waterproof, but it does have to be wet before you apply this. So I'm going to, uh, wet it down and uh, we'll sort of do like a before and after if it beads off uh, better after um, but it recommends using a sponge which this here is just a grout sponge for uh, floor tiling I usually carry these in my kayaks just to sort of keep the bottom clean uh, from mud and, and to rinse it off so I'm going to hose it down make sure it's nice and wet see how well the water beads off and then spray it down with this um, wipe it down let it dry it says for about two minutes Still beads off pretty good. So I'll uh, apply the waterproofing and then we'll recheck it. I don't think there'll be that much of a difference, it's still pretty good. basically going to pick uh, each area all right there I know I'm not missing any Got a pretty wide, nice mist on it. It's a 500 mil bottle. Pretty much, looks like I've used about half so far. Yeah, so basically now just wait two minutes and then wipe it down with a damp uh, cloth. You can somewhat see some areas that actually needed it. You can see that it's soaking in more. So I've let this sit for two minutes, just slightly longer two minutes. Now it says just basically uh, with a damp sponge, just wipe it all off um, to make sure that you've covered all the area. That's pretty much it. You just have to 
wipe it off, let it air dry, wiping off the excess. Um, I clearly put a lot on and the combination of that and this tent not really needing to be waterproofed again because it was still pretty, uh, the waterproofing was still in pretty good shape. Um, a lot of the product is just staying on top, uh, like beating off. Um, there's only some areas where you can see where the tent's actually absorbing it. And in most other areas, it's just the product is just staying beaded on, which I, I guess is a good indication that, that the waterproofing from the original um, manufacturer is still pretty good. So I'm just going to let that air dry, wiping off the excess that I see. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy, use, pretty easy to use product. Clean your tent, hose it down, spray it on, wipe it off. That's it. Alright, see you guys in the next video.